So last week I was at the Northwest Guitar Show at Haydock. Um, that's where I picked up the 1964 Vox Links that you saw in the other video. But um, I picked up another couple of things while I was there that I wanted to show you. Um, basically, Crimson Guitars had a booth there. You know, um, I've mentioned Crimson Guitars. I did an unboxing video for some tools I got from there, including the fret leveling file. Um, and the fret rubbers and um, uh, all this stuff. I'm not going to go through all that again. But um, because they had their stand there selling a bunch of tools, and also Ben Crow was there. Sorry, let's stop that rattling. Yeah, Ben, who as well as being an incredibly talented luthier and making a huge contribution to sort of the community through his videos on luthery and guitar maintenance. Um, so we got chatting and he was extremely helpful and generous with his advice about working on guitars. But also he had some tools there that I couldn't walk away from so I just want to show you those smoothly. Um, the first one is the fret end beveling file which again it's a lovely piece of wood these are off cuts from the guitars in this shop it's um, Ben called them heirloom grade tools and I love the idea of wooden tools that you could pass on my um, my shed's full of old tools that came from my grandfather's shed all wooden tools and they're just lovely things so fret and beveling file. The idea is that it, um, let me just show you on a neck that I'm working on. I'm not building, I'm um, repairing, sort of destroying, more like. Um, the idea that, um, I don't know if we can see, probably not, I'm not the best at this, but there is an angle to each of these fret ends that we could of course do by hand, but this tool it's designed that it, without damaging the top of the frets or the wood at the sides, that it can, it travels, I haven't done this, and so I'm not, don't have the neck yet, but the idea is that we would travel down the neck, not damaging anything, except just taking this angle, this angle here off the frets. So, I think that's a beautiful tool. There's a fret inside, if you want to see, you can see that it's machined, so it's smooth there, and then cutting along its sides. I think that's really beautiful. The other thing, which I've thought about getting for a long time, and let me see if I've got useful things to show you about it, but is this cool, again made from really beautiful woods from Ben's workshop. What this is, is either, well, it's either a nut file or a nut saw, depending on how you look at it. Much more, it looks like a pen knife, um, or even more like feeler gauges, but feeler gauges with edges to them, if I get one of them out. So the gauge starts with the 10, so it would be like your gauge 10 string. But it goes all the way up to 56, which is neat for me, because I often play with heavier strings. Oh, I'm being clumsy today. There we go. So let's say I'm going to cut out. This is 56. I'm marked on there like feeler gauges. Looks out like a penknife. Awesome. And you can see. Oh, maybe you can't. But let me see if I can move this a little more in the light. You can see things I'm destroying down here. There you can see the saw edge. And they are actually pull edges rather than push. Ben was telling me they did think about having the, the finer gauges might be pushed, but it would get very confusing altogether. So basically this serves the purpose of an entire set of fret files, basically. And there is a waiting list for these of a few weeks, that's why they're never in stock on the website, that's why I've never got one before. 
Um, oops, sorry. But Ben had a couple to show everybody there and seized my opportunity and nabbed it. Uh, they're 80 something pounds. And that might seem a lot of money, but that, I think that's just a snap. If you bought all these files separately, you know, quality ones with good wood handles, I think you'd be paying a lot. I don't have a blank nut to show you right now. Um, I have this, this nut that I, I've taken off um, this guitar um, as I've been working on it, but yeah, so you just saw away in there. And what Ben did show me, I don't know if I have a scrap that this is useful for. Maybe on here, that you when you cut it, <clears throat> it's not like you have to cut it and then get a fine file and smooth it. It actually that's the finished cut. I'm gonna try and see if I can show you that. Obviously, this is the wrong material. It's not bone. Probably a plastic would be better to show you one, but I don't want to start cutting into all my plastic stuff. But um, but you should hopefully see this is it is the final cut, so it is smooth and. Uh, that's fantastic, I can't wait to it. I'm just going to start ripping nuts out of guitars just to use this thing. I think it is lovely. And I love the idea that maybe one day I'll be a granddad and my grandson or daughter could have that and get some use out of it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.